Welcome back for game number two. We're about to get underway here between GVSU and St. Clair College after a very dominating performance on the raid hardpoint. We now get to travel to the Miami Search and Destroy, which is going to be a little bit different, obviously. Much slower play style. Hopefully, for the side of uh, Grand Valley, this will be the kind of change of pace that they need, but I still don't have 100% of my faith, but we'll have to see. Can they pull this one off? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be really interesting nonetheless. I mean, Search and Destroy is going to be more probable for them to win if they are going to take a map in this series. And, you know, Search and Destroy, just due to the fact that, you know, you could get some good COD timing or you could just find somebody in their back or you could just, you know, get less kills to win the game. And that's what's going to be the big difference maker here in this one. But Priestley opening things up, dominant, finding one. Brandon going to get traded out, though. Sauce going to answer right back and put things into a 3v2 for St. Clair. Yeah, a bit of an odd spot here. We do see, of course, uh, Bomb still in the pocket here of number one. That's Double Moab who's going to be trying to make this one happen. They are on the outside looking in. Bit of an awkward spot. Double going to be getting himself peppered here by Priestley, but not going to go down. Going to heal up real quick. Carry the move himself back in here. It's an awkward spot. This kind of forces you to go uh, um, rely on your gun skill. And from what we've seen from Grand Valley State so far, that's not exactly been their highlight. Yeah, and Priestley's just set up perfectly. He doesn't even have to move, really. Um, he's eventually going to... Like, he knows these players are back here, and they want to push the site. He's going to spot one. He's going to follow just in time. Okay. And yes, Sauce will be there right for the help. Sauce with the two-piece. An excellent place there from St. Clair. That's what I call an old-fashioned bait-and-switch. Absolutely. Takes him down nicely. We're going to see Sauce find himself the best play as I think he gets himself a double here after finishing off. Double mow up. Yes, there it is indeed. 1 0 early lead here for St. Clair in this game. And now St. Clair will be switching over to the offensive side of things. So as the tables have turned, let's see if Grand Valley can try to get something going on the defense. All right. Next prediction is up here for game number two between Sauce and Brandon, who's going to find himself the most amount of kills. And of course, we're on a bit of a delay, so you, by the time it actually comes through, you may have just barely gotten the study the start of the first game. And Sauce so far taking the lead, but Brandon fighting back, going to find Davey Dank. Yeah, 100%. And that's actually beautiful if you are St. Clair, right? I mean, you are in perfect positioning. You have a player lead, and you have, most of all, site control. Double Moab finding Sauce there, though, that's exactly what you need. Brandon going to grab the bomb, fall off, and I would not be surprised to see an A rotate here. But maybe not. Priestley is just going to completely open the site, find a two-piece, leaving it all on a double Moab. I mean, just open it up with your gun skill alone. Priestley showing exactly why for the longest time he was the Saints' go-to uh, fragger. Now it's going to be just finished off here by Lavelle. Captain Coach going to finish the job. We have ourselves a 2-0 lead here in this Search and Destroy. Yeah, and that's great for St. Clair because that shows that they can win defense and they can win offense against this GVSU squad. And Priestley going absolutely huge on this best play of the game with that two-piece to completely clear out the site and leave it into a 3v1. Now, if you're GVSU here, I feel like you just got to play a little bit slower and hold your angles. And I think that's kind of where they got a little bit uh, antsy prior where they kind of slipped up a bit, at least on the attacking side of things where... I mean, I know when you're attacking, you kind of have to be the one to make the move eventually. But maybe they didn't time up quite exactly as they were supposed to. Because I see Priestley pretty much where they were last time. Going to get the jump onto Davey. When you're that far into spawn, I'm sure you'd think you're safe. But not the case in the slightest. Majority of the Saints stacked on B. Because basically everybody loves going to B. But instead, we're actually going to see uh, Professor Wrangley Rankle. Making his way over towards the A site, being very cautious, actually. And the only one there to defend is Lavelle. Yeah, and that's exactly what you need if you are from the side of GVSU. And they will actually clean up Lavelle, turning things to a 3v3. But this will transfer a lot of info into St. Clair. So look at all the rotates coming in. They might have spotted Kip there. I don't believe they did. But nonetheless, the rotate down in from St. Clair, you're going to see Priestley and Sauce kind of make their way over. And if they can even find one of these players just like that, Priestley going to take out the bomb carrier, leaving it all on Kip. Sauce is going to call him out to the rest of the team. And Kip is in a very bad position here. He's weak and in a 1v3. That will be a cleanup kill for Priestley, advancing St. Clair to 3-0 in this search and destroy on Miami. 
It just seems that GVNCU cannot find a way to get anything really started here. They did find the one drop onto Lavelle, but a 2v1, I th would hope that you could convert on that. So, sure, Lavelle goes down, but makes a call out, and everybody else on the side of the Saints rotating on over just exactly what they need to do. Clean up nice and quick, and right now, flawless here for St. Clair. Yeah, I mean, and if you see Priestley right now, he's on a five streak, and I, he might have aced last one. I don't know if he did. Uh, um, don't quote me on that, but I think he at least got two or three. No, Sauce got the last one. But Priestley, he's on a five streak now, so that's actually huge for Priestley going into this one. He's doing a lot of work for St. Clair right now, closing out these sites. Now, one of the things I want to also point out here is I know you could probably see on the screen too a little bit, but it does not seem like the connection is the greatest with the way these players are uh, bouncing around every so often here on the uh, Grand Valley State host. So we'll have to see if that comes into effect. Brandon's going to go down, but Lavelle is going to be right there to clean up and then pick up. No, it's going to be Sauce who picks up the bomb at that moment. So I played myself a little bit, but Sauce is not playing around in the slightest. Professor Wrangley Rank will go in down again. So it's going to be up to Double Moab and Kip to try and make this defense. They're pretty far back. Sauce Ooh. is going to spot him out from afar. He basically has all night and day to really plant this thing because uh, Double Moab is the only one available and it's uh, he's going against three. This is going to be difficult. You can tell that he's definitely contemplating what he needs to do to actually pull this off. Yeah, and I mean, if you're Double Moab here, you have so much work ahead of you. Double Moab looks like he's one of the stronger players on the side of GVSU, but Priestley is still able to shut him down from up top there now on piano. And, you know, 4-0 lead now for St. Clair, and it's looking like GVSU has a lot of work to do if they want to take this one. Sauce, in this best play, goes absolutely huge. You've seen this done by St. Clair a few times now, where they find one on that site, and they just get aggressive, and they find the other. They completely predict where they're playing, and they go in, they look at it, and did it, find the kill. And Priestley did the exact same thing two rounds ago when St. Clair was on offense previously. So if you're GVU, you got to see how can you counter that. Yeah, I mean, for the Saints, this Miami Search and Destroy is a map that they've absolutely beaten to death on both the attacking and uh, defending side of things. So they know where the hot spots, where you should be looking. And you can tell as soon as they even expose themselves, even the slightest, they know exactly where to look. And we're going to see Priestley go point blank with the uh, prof, and he's going to go down. Can he find himself another? He's going to get peppered. He's going to, That's uh, Kip firing at him, but going to stay alive. We do see Sosnado in a bit of a... Behind Priestley's enemy calling lines. in streaks. Priestley's calling in streaks. Uh, he's on a seven streak, so he can certainly do that. Brandon will find one. Kip will get the trade down on a Priestley for turning, turning things to a 3v2. And that's finally going to shut down Priestley's streak. But Brandon there to find another. And just like that, we are going to see a 3v1 once again, this time all remaining on Kip. Yeah, he's going to be able to at least pick up this bomb. There was no uh, Saints eyes on it, so... At least has the objective in hand. And the Saints maybe giving him a little bit more credit than necessary. Um, I was kind of thinking about maybe an A switch. He's going to be able to probably plant this thing just in time. And they're going to have to actually make a move. Can he get himself a good post-plant position? He's going to get jumped on, though, by Sauce Nato. So he's going to take care of that nice and quick. A valiant effort, but not going to be enough today. Yeah, and you know, the play from Priestley there, even though he did fall, him getting really aggressive there right off the hop of things and getting that opening pick is so, so big for Priestley. And the even smarter move is him falling off after. He didn't try to play off that pick. He didn't try to get too aggressive. He's like, okay, I found one. Let's just continue to go on the feed here. No, he played it smart. He fell off. And that's what really kept him alive at the end of the day. So props to Priestley there for playing really smart on that play and falling off and waiting for the help from the team. Nonetheless, he did still fall and die. But... He made the right play overall, and that'll translate into another round win for St. Clair as they lead 5-0 here. They're going to have to find six in a row if you're RGVSU to try to come back and win this one. Yeah, like you're saying with Priestley, I don't mind dying if the team cleans up, you know? So, so solid enough job. He did what he needed to do, and everybody else cleaned up nicely. But yeah, the fact that we're now already on uh, game point here for St. Clair, just 
tearing through this uh, GDSU search and destroy. Good start here for Davy Dank, actually. He's going to take down the captain, takes down Lavelle. Brandon, though, opens fire. Kip going to get the best of him, actually. So now a decent opportunity here for Grand Valley State if they can hold this B site properly, considering so. Okay, just walk right by him. Interesting. Oh Hunt the professor down. Give oh, him a little execute. Why don't you? All right, a little bit of extra style points, but he's going to absolutely pay for it. So the one-on-one -on -one actually between Sauce and Double Moab, Double Moab to try and uh, keep uh, GVSU's uh, chances alive here in game number two. Yeah, but Sauce does have the bomb, so I mean he could totally just gush plant this. To be completely honest, I mean he doesn't really have to go hunting for Double Moab here. He's not going to spot him. Will he spot okay. on the ground? Yes, he does. There's the cleanup from Sauce. Eight and one performance, and Sauce will actually win the prediction for you guys if you did end up voting on Sauce. And, you know, that's <laughs> Priestley. He's just trying to get those style points like you were talking about. Uh, they're just having some fun. And nonetheless, they still won the round with that assassination. So the boys are probably pretty fired up right now from the side of St. Clair. And, you know, that's what you like to see. So that's going to be a very 250 to 43, I think, in the hard point. 6-0 now in the search and destroy. Going into control. If you're GVSU, you got to be worried. Absolutely, and control is definitely one of those games, uh, game modes that can be very. Um, I'm trying to think of the term for it, but it we'll just say hit or miss per team, basically. Like some teams actually like it, but I think a lot of them actually don't. So mm, no, it's not really liked by the community that much. Uh, at the beginning of the year, there was a big discussion on if control should even be in the competitive rotation. Um, just because of how defensive sided it is, you know, uh, the game did make some tweaks to make it a little bit better, but nonetheless, it's still not really favored by uh, probably 80% of the community. Well, I mean, if this is the situation, then we know exactly what to do is the Call of Duty community, right? Gentlemen's agreement, gentlemen's agreement, throw it everywhere. Just always yeah. gentlemen's agreement is the answer. And before Thanos takes you down, we're going to quickly go to a break as we're in the midst of doing some lobby tag. So we'll be right back. The deciding match, possibly, as Saints are on match point up against GVSU. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 